Hey everyone, Football News is back with another episode. Lamin Yamal shocked everyone with his latest statements. PSG refused to pay Mbappe. The total fee Barcelona ended up paying for Dembele has been revealed, and Manchester City could face a shocking punishment. Folks, we've gathered the most interesting news from the last 24 hours and are in a hurry to share them with you. So be sure to support us with a like and a comment down below. Sit back and make yourself comfortable because we are about to start. Let's get the show on the pitch. Artem Dovbik has recovered from his injury and returned to AS Roma's group training. He will be available to play against Genoa. Inter Milan have unveiled their third kit for the 2024-25 campaign, which features an inverted swoosh and a centered badge. Turkish Super League side Gostepe has recruited David Datrofafana on loan from Chelsea with a buyback loss. Fabrizio Romano has announced the agreement also stipulates that the Blues will be able to return the footballer early on January 1, 2025. When I walk into the street, people say to me, you are gonna win the Ballon d'Or, you deserve it, and for me, I'm already a winner with this, Rodri shared. Cristiano Ronaldo on TV Pundits Should I end my career because two rats criticize me? Cristiano said. Barcelona managed to improve its salary cap by more than two times, from 204 million euros last winter to 426 million this summer. However, this is still not enough to return to the one-to-one -one rule. Costa Rica international Keylor Navas could pursue his career in Brazilian Serie A. The 37-year-old goalkeeper services were offered to Grêmio. Sergio Aguero on the best winger in the Premier League. Salah and Diaz are a scoring combination. They can assist well. Deku and Savinho need time, but their potential is through the roof, the Man City legend said. Bayern Munich have made a new contract offer to Musiala. The club promises the player a significant salary increase, bonuses and special bonuses to keep him at the club. Their goal is to resolve the matter by the summer of 2025. Lionel Messi missed parts of Inter Miami training this week due to having the flu. As a result, he will miss the team's upcoming fixture. The Argentine has not played for the Heron since June. Marcus Thuram has been named the Player of the Month in Serie A for August. During last month, the 27-year-old Frenchman scored four goals in three Serie A appearances. Marlon has joined MLS club Los Angeles. The 29-year-old Brazilian defender has penned a contract until the end of 2024 with an option to renew until June 2025. Frank Ribéry, Samir Handanovic, and Stefano Pioli's son, who finished with the highest possible mark, are among the latest coaches to obtain their UEFA A licenses through the FIGC. After France's loss to Italy, Mbappé expressed his dissatisfaction with Deschamps' tactical preparation in the dressing room. If Manchester United supports Hoyland properly, I don't see any reason why he shouldn't score a ton of goals, Peter Schmeichel says. Real Madrid and Carlo Ancelotti personally want Dani Carvajal to extend his contract with the club, as informs. Real Madrid consider the renewal of Andriy Lunin's contract a key step and believe in the Ukrainian's potential. Chelsea are only looking for a permanent sale of Carni Chukwemeka. A loan is not an option for the London club, according to Fabrizio Romano. Midfielder Gavi has returned to Barcelona training. At yesterday's session, the 20-year-old Spaniard partially worked with the squad. It is expected that at the end of the month, he will be cleared by the doctors to participate in matches. Man City have unveiled a new jersey in honor of the 30th anniversary of Oasis' Definitely Maybe album. The shirt was presented in collaboration with Noel Gallagher, who is known to be a huge supporter of the club. La Liga has created a special cross-arm gesture to indicate racism by referees. The third time it is demonstrated, the game can be stopped prematurely. Tottenham midfielder Rodrigo Bentancur has been charged by the Football Association for saying to San Heung-min that all South Korean people look the same. Kevin De Bruyne did not want to be the captain of Manchester City. He believes that the traditional captaincy is not his thing, the Athletic writes. I've noticed that many things about me have been made up recently. The only thing I'm doing is working hard, training, and being ready for wherever I play. I'll talk very soon to clarify everything. The important thing for me is to work and be serene. I've received several offers and I'm looking for the best project for me. Mario Balotelli shared his plans for the future. 
If Vinicius doesn't win the Ballon d'Or this year, it'll be next year, but he will win it, claimed La Liga president Javier Tebas. I don't understand what Ibrahimovic does, what his responsibilities and his competencies are at AC Milan. Zvonimir Baban slams Latin's role in the club. I the word Rodri for his performances in the Premier League, the Champions League and the Euros. Fabio Capello admitted. Guys, now it's time to leave a like to this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you! Moving on to the main news of our release. Barcelona have transferred all the bonus payments from the transfer of winger Usman Dembele to Borussia Dortmund. Build reports. According to the source, the total amount of the deal between the clubs for the 27-year-old Frenchman reached 148 million euros. The Blaugrana bought Dembele from the Prussians in the summer of 2017. At that time, the footballer agreed to a conflict with the German club in order to move to Spain. In the summer of 2023, he was sold to PSG for 50 million euros. Barcelona are looking for a right back, one of the candidates in the winter, according to Mundo Deportivo. According to the source, the Catalans initially intended to buy Joao Cancelo from Manchester City permanently, but he eventually joined Al Hilal. As of this moment, Gilles Koundé is forced to play on the right side of the defense. Therefore, the club is considering Oscar Mingueza, whose agreement with Celta Vigo lasts until 2026. The Spanish giants have a buyout option for the 25-year-old Spaniard worth 9 million euros. The preferred option is Bayern Munich's Joshua Kimmich, who may become a free agent in June. Arsenal head coach Mikel Arteta has extended his deal with the London club, the Gunners press office reports. It is indicated that the Spaniard agreed on a long-term contract. Earlier on, it was reported that the agreement with the 42-year-old Spaniard would be extended until 2027. The Spaniard led Arsenal back in December 2019. Under his guidance, the North London club won the FA Cup and twice won the FA Super Cup. In the 2023-24 campaign, Arsenal finished second in the Premier League table, two points behind Manchester City. Arteta's previous deal with the Gunners was set to run until the summer of 2029. I want to do much more at Arsenal than what we've already achieved, McHill declared. On September 16th, court hearings will begin in the Premier League's case against Manchester City over 115 cases of financial fair play violations, Sky Sports reports. The hearings are expected to last up to two months, and the decision of the Independent Companies Commission will be made public only in March 2025 or later. The Sky Blues were accused of violating financial fair play rules over nine years from 2009 to 2018. Do you think it's normal? Wow. Ahead of the start of the hearing, the evening standard has revealed the most likely punishment for City if they lose the case. While relegation to the championship has been suggested as one possible outcome, it's deemed to be less likely than other potential punishments. A more likely punishment is a significant points deduction and fine, in the event that the Premier League were able to prove a cross-section of the charges. The report read, Premier League chiefs are set to be keen and impose a strict punishment to act as a deterrent to other clubs if they win the case against City. Several sources have told the Evening Standard that a points deduction in the region of 30 could be handed to the Premier League champions. However, the likelihood of the Premier League dealing out retrospective punishment, such as removing titles and handing them to other clubs, is said to be remote. PSG have no wish to accept the decision of the French Professional Football League's legal commission, which ordered the Red and Blues to pay 55 million euros to its former forward Kylian Mbappe, who now represents Real Madrid within eight days. The sum of 55 million euros before taxes includes Mbappe's salary for the last three months at the Parisian team, part of the signing bonus, and an ethical bonus that PSG still owed to Kylian. The Parisians believe that they acted within the law, so they refuse to pay, which is why they are ready to take the case to court. Lamine Yamal appeared in the TV show El Hormiguero, where he made several striking statements. We've selected the most memorable ones for you. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Barca, being league leaders, hurts in Madrid. I hope that people in Madrid appreciate me for what I have done in the national team. I will own a King's League team. I'll have my president, my players, everything. Messi gave me some of his powers during that photo shoot, but I still have a lot to offer. I want to never leave Barca. I want to become a legend of this club. 
I like being compared to the best player in football history, but I want to be myself. Reaching Messi's level is impossible. It's not worth saying anything. I have nothing to respond to. We know our values and it's not worth it. The last answer especially pleased Barcelona supporters who began to refer to Vinicius. They expect him to cry about like Vinny. The other guy would have cried, we all know who. Vinicius should come learn from a 17 years old. And that's it for today, folks! What do you think of Yamal's answers to hot topics? It seems to us that the guy is indeed mature beyond his years. Friends, we invite you to meet another guy who is also mature beyond his years. Say hello to the 12-year-old new Fabrizio Romano, winner Chip Hamba. Click on the link and get motivated by his incredible story. Have a great time watching! Bye-bye!